let's talk about concavity. So if a function looks like this on the left at any, at any part uh, in its domain, or if it just looks like that anywhere that you can see it, then this is concave up. The function has a property called concave up. And over here, if it looks like this, then it's concave down. And one silly way that you can use to remember this is concave up cup. Concave up cup. It looks like a cup. It could hold water. Concave down frown. So this looks like somebody's frowning. So if you ever get confused which one's which, hopefully that will that little trick will help you. And we're going to look at a, a more technical definition of what concave up and concave down is other than just to say it looks kind of like this. And we're going to do what we did in the video about extrema. We're going to start analyzing this in, in terms of slope. So let's look at the slopes themselves. So here the slope is pretty steep, pretty steep, pretty steep, and, it, and it's slowly leveling off. And, uh, and it's negative, right? It's negative, and, and if it's steep, it means it's really negative. Here, the, the slope is starting to, to um, it's, it's starting to become positive, and it's positive, and then the slopes are getting steeper. So, so here, it's, it's positive. Now, this looks a lot like what we did when we talked about extrema, but now we're going to talk about it in terms of, of the, the second derivative, the first and second derivative. So what do I mean by that? Well, if the if the slopes were really negative over here, well that might look something like like this. Like maybe the derivative, the value of the derivative, let me write it over here. If they're really negative, maybe the value of the derivative was down here. And then a little bit to the right, they weren't quite as negative. And they started to shallow they started to level off. Right? And then we know that 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 at that minimum they became zero. So maybe I should have planned for that. Let me. So we're level the slopes are level leveling off, right? They're becoming less negative. And then they get to zero and then they start to become positive. And then they start to get steeper and steeper. So they're they're it's uh they're positive but they're getting bigger because the the slope is getting steeper. Okay. And hopefully you can see that I was intending to draw something like a line. Kind of got off there. But it does go through the origin, so that's why I'm, I'm ignoring these points up here. But the derivative, this derivative, not the, you don't need to know that it looks like a line, but you can see that the derivative itself is increasing. Right? The derivative was going, it was really negative, and then it, it was the whole time on this interval where we called this function concave up, it was increasing. It, the, the slopes were really steep, and then they became more and more shallow, and then they kept, then they were getting bigger. So the derivative here, f, f prime of x, is increasing this whole time this function is concave, concave up. And hopefully you can see that the opposite's going to be true over here. And and I didn't draw this through the origin because it looks like our maximum is a little bit to the right of the origin. And so that would make this the uh, the critical number. But anyways, you can see that the the slopes here are really positive and then they become negative. So they're the the slopes start out positive. I could have drawn dots instead of a line just to to show you the relationship, but they start out super steep. They got they were becoming less steep until they got to zero and then they started becoming negative all the slopes so this derivative f prime of x is decreasing so over here it was increasing we're talking about the derivative itself you can see that that the function here is decreasing and then it, and then at the critical number it, it starts to increase and here the function was increasing and then it starts to decrease that's that's all well and good, but now when we talk about the derivatives, the derivative on the left side over here is increasing the whole time this thing is concave up, and and on the right the derivative is decreasing the whole time this thing is concave up. So that's a, a little bit more of a technical definition, and we could get much more technical than that. But 
concave up happens when the derivative is increasing and concave down happens when when the derivative is decreasing you can kind of think of it as as a fighter a fighter jet in this case he's diving down towards the the ocean or or ground he's making some sort of dive and and this is the path of his plane maybe here's the the jet on the other side I'm not going to do a very good job here but there's his jet so he's diving down for him to go from from these really steep negative slopes to these positive slopes he has to pull up on on his his uh controls the entire time right pull up pull up you know he pulls up on them and and his slopes are going to start to increase right so they were negative and they went to and then they became positive so the slopes themselves are going to start to increase he's pulling up the whole time okay so hopefully that that gives you somewhat of a of a intuition of what we're going to start talking about which is concavity and the second derivative because if we know the first derivative is increasing well we might be able to find that by taking the derivative of the derivative right we talked about the uh, finding increasing and decreasing intervals for a function now we're gonna do it for a derivative okay see you in the next video